Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a good weekend and welcome to this new video. Uh, on Pepe, we'll do a full update, mainly technical, because in terms of fundamentals, there's not, there, there's not much we can talk about. I mean, uh, with meme coins, it's always hard to talk about the fundamentals. I'm not even sure if, if Pepe is even um, is, if, if Pepe is even posting on, on X. Um, but if you look at Pepe right here, it's, uh, well, there, there's no major developments, right? Uh, so obviously they post about some updates regarding exchanges which are adding support or, or are adding uh, adding, pep, adding Pepe support for, for certain features. But apart from that, uh, not much. All right. So one of the key things that I do want to talk about is one of the one of the things that you always look for uh, when talking about Pepe is either some sort of Ethereum strength, because believe it or not, but Pepe actually reacts quite well to Ethereum. And at this point of time, uh, that's not there. Ethereum against Bitcoin is still relatively weak, which is not great, but it's it's just the way it is at this point of time. Um, and meme coins itself, as a as a as a narrative, is also not doing great. I mean, meme coins, as you can see, most of the narrative. If if you if you can see this, I mean, it's relatively small, uh, but here you can basically see all of the narrative. So it's comprised of all of the all of the coins in a narrative, and there's no real strength here. Um, uh, in, in, in those meme coins, not in cat coins, uh, etc. All right. Um, so that's the fundamental situation for Pepe. It's not great. Now, do I think it can turn great? Yes. All right. I still think Ethereum will have its moment, not necessarily soon, but Pepe will be able to, to capitalize on that. And Pepe is also holding on relatively well. Like if you, if you look at Pepe and Bitcoin right here, they're quite similar. They are at major support levels. For Bitcoin, it's 57,000. For Pepe, it's this level right here at, at 7,000. Um, but it, they're basically following this, this same kind of consolidation. And that's actually a bullish thing because most cryptos, or at least a lot of altcoins I'm looking at, have actually gotten the bearish breakout. So, uh, for example, let's assume that Pepe was a different, or, or let's assume a different altcoin was doing the same as Pepe. It would be, it would be here, right? It would be here. Under the, un, un, under the support. So the fact that Pepe is holding on relatively well, I think is a bullish thing. So now the main question when we, when we, talk, about, when we talk about Pepe is all right, well, do we expect Bitcoin to hold its support? Because if Bitcoin is able to hold its support, Pepe will hold it too. It's as simple as that. There's no real thing we can look at with Pepe right now. The open interest has been flat since the last two days, since the 30th of August. Uh, CVD has been flat. The RSI has been flat, trending down slightly, right? So, so there's. If we zoom into to Pepe, I do think we're also not getting much support anymore from from this main support level. So, in terms of price action, I do think we'll drop down to this level right here, at seventy two and seven uh, seven thousand rounds. Um, but whether we will bounce from there, something like this, right, or not, and that we will uh, fail to hold that level. And that will drop down to, to a level lower, which would probably be uh, the level right here at around 6,000. That depends on Bitcoin. And at this point of time, I think you need to be prepared for the crash, right? So, so for this scenario. But at this point of time, I still believe that Bitcoin is going to be able to hold its support. And therefore, I also do think that Pepe is going to hold that support. How would I trade that? I wouldn't. All right. Or like, like there's there's multiple trade scenarios here that, that I that I could think of. Most of them are long because I think shorting is still a ridiculous thing to do in a, in a bull market, which I still do think we're in. Um, but there's two scenarios. So we either get a bearish breakout here and we reclaim that. Right. That could be a long scenario. Or if we're able to hold this. Uh, so let me quickly uh, do something like this. Or if we're able to hold this support level here and we get a bullish breakout from there, right? So in both scenarios, I need some sort of a bullish confirmation before entering. I'm not setting up any limit orders, all right? So if I if I take anything, I'll let you know on Pepe. Um, but for now, I think this is what you need to know regarding uh, what to expect and potential trade setups. So thank you for watching. Um, I want to wish you all a great weekend. I'll see you all in my next videos, of course. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.